A whole lot of X-Men show up in Deadpool and Wolverine, which is why it's easy to miss that some of them are played by different people. One of Wolverine's more formidable foes, Lady Deathstrike, is among them. But who's the person wearing the adamantium fingernails now? The first time you watch Wolverine face off against Yuriko Oyama, aka Lady Deathstrike, in 2003's X2 X-Men United, you might find yourself having a similar reaction to Logan. Holy sh more than 20 years later, the fight between these two super-healing adamantium skeleton individuals still ranks up there as one of the most savage mutant-on-mutant -mutant scuffles in any of 20th Century Fox's numerous X-Men movies. Despite being restricted by the film's PG-13 rating, this sequence manages to pack in plenty of painful moments, culminating with Lady Deathstrike's horrifying fate of death by liquefied adamantium injection. The fact that she had spent the whole movie being forced to serve the detestable William Stryker via mind control serum only adds to the greater tragedy of her character. In light of her graphic demise, it might have felt strange if Lady Deathstrike actor Kelly Hu had reprised her X2 role for Deadpool and Wolverine. Weird as it is to see Wesley Snipes' blade in a Marvel action comedy that's well removed from the look and tone of the Daywalker's previous outings, it could have been odder still if Hu had been one of the many Marvel Fox alumni to cameo in the film. It's one thing when Tyler Mayne returns as Sabretooth from 2000's X-Men and gets swiftly decapitated by Wolverine. His character is just kind of a jerk after all. Bringing back Who to play a mutant who was cruelly denied her own free will and then butchered by Logan just to be defeated once again wouldn't have had the wistful fanservice effect that Deadpool and Wolverine seems to be aiming for. Perhaps it's better, then, that a different actor played Lady Deathstrike in the film, giving an up-and-coming stunt performer a brief moment to shine in a superhero mega-blockbuster. While Who's X2 co-star Aaron Stanford once again lights up the screen as Pyro in Deadpool and Wolverine, Lady Deathstrike is instead brought to life by Jade Lai. Lai has been working as a stunt performer in major Hollywood productions since 2019. In addition to doubling as Supergirl in 2023's The Flash, she's done stunt work in movies like Tim Burton's live-action Dumbo and Meg 2 The Trench, on top of TV shows like Game of Thrones and Lioness. Taking to Instagram to celebrate Deadpool and Wolverine crossing the $1 billion mark at the box office, Lai posted several behind-the-scenes photos showing off her practical metal fingernails in the film. She gave a special thanks to the movie's second unit director and supervising stunt coordinator, George Cottle, along with her hair and makeup team. She added, Mornings I will never forget and are very special and loved every moment. We'll cherish all the amazing times on set with such a talented team. She continued in a separate post thanking Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, and director Sean Levy, writing, I will never forget making box office records, with memories to last a lifetime, fights with true legends, and making childhood dreams come true. Kelly Hu is far from the only X-Men veteran who wasn't brought back for Deadpool and Wolverine, but at the end of the day, her recasting makes sense. It's likely that Lai's variant of Lady Deathstrike comes from a different universe, one where the character never got injected with liquid metal by Logan. That would make watching her fight Deadpool and his friends a much less painful experience.